Hey, what is going on guys? It's Energy here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own 5M server. Have you ever wanted to be in a 5M server of your own where you could have your own cars, MLOs, or anything like that? Then this is the perfect way to do so. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and let's get into today's video. So first off, you're going to want to make sure you have these three programs downloaded. It's going to be Visual Source Code, Zam, Control Panel, and then Heidi SQL. Uh, all those links will be in the description. Um, what you're going to do is, like for this one, for example, you'll just press uh, Download 64-Bit. Uh, this one, this one, like the, the install is hidden sometimes, but it's like right here. You're going to do the installer 32 to 64 combined. Um, and then for the artifacts, you're going to need this as well. All I do is just press this. What the latest is doing is it's saying like, this is the oldest version that will still work. So I recommend doing the newest one if you can. So we're just going to download that one. Um, this link here is key master. Uh, this is where, uh, we we'll use this in just a minute. And then we'll also need Visual Studio, which I already have. But again, all these links will be in the description below. And yeah, so these are the three programs you're going to need uh, along with this uh, file here. Um, and you're going to do this one. This is going to be like the latest, most updated uh, one. Uh, this one does like the latest version that still works in their system. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the desktop. I like to run the server just on the desktop. That way it's easy to access and manage and whatnot. And if you're on an SSD, it'll make it run just a little bit better. Um, so if you right click, go to new folder, uh, we're just going to name this FX server. You can name this whatever you want. It, there's no real limitations to what you can name this. Um, this is just what I name it. Um, so then you're going to go to your downloads um, and you're going to take uh, the server that we downloaded here. Um, and you're going to take, you're going to press extract to uh, desktop right here fx server and that's just going to throw all these files into the fx server just press ok and that should only take uh, less than a minute um so now we got that uh what we're going to do next is we're going to double click fx server which is going to run this and it's going to create this and this here so uh, here in a minute it should direct me back over here i think um so you'll take these two these just again these are all together uh, what this is saying is already please access and then it's telling you where to go uh, so you'll need to oops sorry uh, you'll need to uh, go into this website here and show you quick it should automatically send you to it but for me it kind of took a minute but if it doesn't all you have to do is type in this address here and it'll take you to this login portal um, and what you're going to do next is this pin code uh, it should automatically type it in for you but if it doesn't you'll type this pin right here into this box press link account and it's going to make you sign in with your uh account here which is fine and this is just going to ask you to confirm you're going to press continue and you're going to have to create a password for your account so i'm just going to create that real fast all right now your password is created you're going to put uh, i agree and then create master account um so this is going to be all the stuff to actually configure your server the way you want it so uh, at this point you're going to press next server name uh, let's just do test server um so then deployment type this is the type of server that you're going to be running so what i do um if you have an existing server you could do that like if you had the config and all the resources and all that ready you could do existing server data uh, but we're going to be showing how to do it from scratch so we're going to do popular receipts and then from here this is going to tell you like what kind of server you want to run so cfx default um this will be like a like a basic 5m server kind of like a, a v menu server i guess uh qb core is what we'll be doing today qb core is uh it has a very good base it starts off well and then you can only use qb core scripts obviously esx legacy um this is an esx server obviously and then zap hosting esx pack um that's if you do it through zap hosting which if you're going to host your server i highly recommend zap hosting uh, they're probably one of the best. So for us, we're going to do QB core framework. Again, that's all just depending on the type of server that you want to run. And then this should automatically just leave this deep default path. Uh, this is just going to be where like the base actually goes. Um, so after that, you just can press save, go to receipt deployer. This is just going to be what the actual framework itself looks like. So you'll press next. So now you need uh, a key. So you get this on your key master. That's what we were talking about before. So I'm going to close these tabs real fast. So you're going to go to key master you're going to sign in and when you sign in uh you'll have all these keys you won't have all these i personally do uh but what you're going to do is you're going to press new server uh display so let's just do test uh since this is just a uh 
since this is just a local host server and we're not doing this on a vps this will just be our ip address all you could do is just type in uh what's my ip so after you pull your ip address just look up what's my ip uh you'll press uh type this is gonna be this is gonna be other or home so once you have your ip address you'll throw it in there i'm gonna obviously blur mine out uh, after that you can uh, it's gonna ask what the server type is it's other or home hosted however if you were like doing a rented server or pre-installed server or vps or something like that you could do something uh you would check that and then just be like this you don't really have to put out but i'll just put pc i am not a robot i don't think generate so what you're going to do is you're going to take this key and you're going to paste it in the here uh, now we're not going to press run receipt yet what we're going to do is we're going to open our zam control panel um we're going to press start press start uh these typically will check up but um you'll figure out how to, that like fixes in time for whatever reason um so you can uh, close that it'll just run in the background and what we're going to do is we're going to run how sql um new test server press open press open and then you'll uh, have this here so these two things aren't important at the moment this when anytime like you're installing the server you have to have this open uh and running these two uh right here um you don't have to run any, any of these three we're going to do next now that those are running you're going to press run recipe uh and it's going to take a minute and you'll notice everything starting to unload and zip into this folder or in this program so this will typically take a minute to configure and install everything so i'll be back when this is done so now that this is done it'll automatically open this folder up for you you can close that for the time being uh you press next and then save and run server so you'll have to run this before uh you can actually but you'll have to run this before you can actually uh, do anything else with your server so once that's ran uh mine's currently not going to run because my ip address thing is messed up uh, it shows up as a whole bunch of numbers and letters uh what you're going to do is you can close that um, again, once your server is completely started up. Um, so one thing you'll notice now is here in this, uh, this is going to be your database. This is going to be where all your information stores. If you press QB core framework, uh, and if this doesn't pop up for you right away, all you're going to have to do is press this refresh button. Um, and what this is going to have, this is going to have all of the default data for your server. So it's going to have the apartments, uh, anytime somebody new uh, or anytime that you do something uh, or create a new character, this will save your apartment data, bank accounts, bank cards, all of that fun stuff. So uh, this is kind of uh, very, very important and useful. And you also need to use this to install certain uh, scripts and whatnot. So once you've done that, we're pretty much done. What you can do is I'm going to show you uh, TX data. If you go to here, this is going to be where everything um, in your server, like the, really the important stuff is. Uh, anytime you want to start your server, you're just going to get go into here and run this FX server thing. But um, so this is what we've just installed. So we're going to go to QB core framework and we have a couple very important things here. So we have our resources. Uh, these are all the default resources. So if you want to install, like, let's say you wanted to install MLO, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to to put it in here uh, you'll take it you'll throw it uh, the the resources itself in here and you'll go to your server config um, and right here QB core and extra stuff this is running all the like this is what's actually running all the scripts alone so if you look uh, it says QB core is running this folder anything in this folder all the resources here will get ran uh, if you look at voice uh, anything in the voice folder will get ran but if you add a resource, what you're going to do is you'll throw it in here. So let's just say this was like, let's say we installed an MLO. So like test MLO, we would take the name. So like, let's say this is a resource. We'd take the name, we'd rename it. We'd copy this and we'd go over here for our visual studio. And in this list, we would uh, press ensure and then the script name. Um, or you can just throw it in one of these folders and that will work too. Um, but yeah, so that's how to install a 5M server. See, that's how to start a 5M server on a local host. If you have any questions, please comment down below or contact me through Discord. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, comment if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.